G'day YouTube, this is just a quick review of the new Scent OS uh, 6.4 that's uh, come out just a couple of months ago, so I thought I'd just give a quick brief talk about it because uh, it's, it's actually a well-loved distribution. So starting off, version 6.4 as I said, and right now I've got the, which I don't believe to be the default inf interface anymore, but this is GNOME Classic as you can see, or the fallback session, but you can actually have GNOME uh, 3.8 and all those running on these now. But I, I keep this one on just for stability, really, essentially. Now, it's this is just the CD uh, installation too, so it's very bare bones, as you can see. Hardly anything in there, not even a word processor. But you've got the email client, which is good to see. Uh, and the kernel version is a little bit older, being uh, CentOS. So the story with CentOS is... Uh, it's, you could say it's based on real um, Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux, although you don't get any official support as you do with Red Hat Linux. Uh, this is uh, the only support you're going to get on this one is through forums and chat rooms and things like that, which isn't too bad if you know how to find them. Uh, so having said that, based on real, which means uh, one thing and one thing in particular, it's going to have an older uh, set of specs in terms of the kernel. For example, I'll just double check what the kernel is now, just in the terminal. So there we go, it's 2.6.32-358. Uh, <laughs> so it, it's a little bit of an older um, kernel, that's for sure, maybe a year older or so, in terms of the uh, version in. And you'll see the dash 358, which is pretty funny because you won't see that with, uh, for example, say, um, I don't know, Linux Mint or Ubuntu. It's uh, it does the version you never gets that far up which means for this one is there's a lot of bug fixes there's a lot of stability it's just all around a really stable distribution now what people actually use this distribution for is uh... believe it or not it, it's uh... it runs as they say about thirty percent of all the internet so thirty percent of all the servers so it's quite a well-known distribution the old uh... The uh, sent OS and uh, yeah it's been going strong for a while so that's about it it comes in 32-bit or 64-bit architectures which is good to see the update method as well is yum so sudo yum all of that and the package manager is the RPM package manager so the actual packages themselves are the RPMs as you can expect with uh, Fedora or Red Hat Linux as well uh, so as I said, it's essentially Red Hat Linux without the support, and uh, it's typical usage is for servers. So um, thanks for your time, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe if you have liked, and uh, yeah, leave a comment. Thanks for your time. Ciao.